Hello, I am Anthony Nyamfu. I'm going to lead you through a series of lessons leading to the typesetting of Holy Sulfur notation with Sibelius application. I shall therefore lead you through step by step guide of lessons from beginner's level to an advanced level of typesetting only sulfur notation with Sibelius application for hymns and choral music in four parts that is for soprano, alto, tenor and bass. For those who use other notation application and are therefore not used to Sibelius, I shall post on YouTube lessons from beginner's level to an advanced level whereby they will be able to notate what Sibelius application for hymns and choral pieces. So subscribe to my channel to learn more tricks with regards to note input with Sibelius application. Now we begin our first lesson and at the end of this first lesson you will be expected to notate only the first four bars of the hymn entitled Abide With Me, which is in the public domain as follows. Good. So this is what we are supposed to achieve by typesetting at the end of this first lesson. Now this is the music for the first four bars and this is what we are supposed to typeset only the sulfur notation. Now, to start, we shan't need the title, the text, that is to say the text above the stave. So, we delete the text as follows. Hold the control key, click to select all the text, and delete. To start, Notating only sulfur notation, click the first bar, hold the shift key, and click the last bar to select the whole music. Now click on text, click on plug ins, click on add tonic sulfur. Check these two boxes here. Now, in this box here, we leave the figure one. The figure one there is actually meant for voice one. And for this music, voice one will be for soprano and tenor. However, we want to have the sofa notation above the stave for these voices. So we click in this window and click lyrics above style click ok yes so there you are it notates the sulfur notation of these two voices that is the soprano and tenor now let's go back to the plugins click add tonic sulfur this time around we want to have that of voice two so Check these two boxes here, and in this box, we type two because we want to type that of the two other voices left that is, the alto and the bass. This time around, we leave the words lyrics in this window because we want to place the sulfur notation below the notes. So, after that, you click OK. Yeah, so there you are. All the four voices have been notated in sofa notation. We shan't need Do is E flat. So click and delete. Click and delete. Now press the escape key to make sure nothing is selected. Now to start the real process of typesetting only the sulfur. Let's double click the treble stave. Click on home. 
click on filters click on staff text now only the sulfur for soprano and alto are selected so hold the control key and type C to copy now go to file go to new click on this blank sheet remember to click only once that is very very important click on change instruments now over here scroll down to others click on others now click on no instrument hidden that is double click to place the no instrument hidden here double click again to have another one click ok now click create Good. now we are going to paste what we copied here so we hold the control key and type V key to paste you realize that the cursor turns blue click behind this green line here to paste what we copied so there you are the sofa for the soprano and the alto are pasted here now we go back to the music we double click that of the bass table click on filters staff text control hold the control key and type C to copy we go back control V to paste now when you have this experience do not worry just hold the down arrow key and press it down to a position whereby you can clearly view the only the sulfur for soprano alto tenor and bass so now to put them together still with the tenor and the bass selected use the up arrow key to join that of the alto and the tenor now click anywhere to deselect hold the shift key click and hold to select only the base now use the up arrow key to join the lines for the alto antenna now to join that of the soprano hold the shift key click and hold to select now you can actually also hold, click and hold and drag in order to join as we did at first or use the down arrow key to move it down yeah so we have the first four bars that is only the sofa notation of the first four bars notated now the green line here may be interrupting with the sofa some of you might have pasted it up here so in that case you can move this green line to the end of the music so that it doesn't interrupt in my case i pasted them below but in a situation where you have yours pasted up there just press the space bar this actually indicates that Sibelius is playing whatever you have typesetted yeah that's it the first four bars only the sulfur notation of the first four bars of the hymn entitled abide with me now if you want to type the text that is the title 
the composer's name, the lyricist, and so on and so forth. Now, go to text, click on styles, click on play three times, plain text button, your cursor turns blue, click to type the title as follows. Good. Now, in order to increase the font size, click to select in this box, type to change the font size. In this case, we make it 24 and hit the enter key to increase the size. Yeah, that's it. So you can type that of the lyricist, the key, the tune, the meter in the same manner, and the composer in the same manner as we have just done with regards to the title. Yeah, so that's it. This is the end of our first lesson of typesetting only the sulfur notation of the first four bars of the hymn entitled Abide With Me. There will be second lesson, third lesson, and so on and so forth, where we'll be able to typeset only the sulfur notation for hymns with more bars and other choral pieces out as well. I hope you have enjoyed my lesson, so subscribe to my channel to learn more tricks with regards to note input in Sibelius application. Thank you.